Good morning, everybody. Another morning is here. Right on schedule. See my fancy, fancy, dancy work bag over here? I know. Watch out, I'm a fancy guy. One second, I gotta pay for my biscuit. On debit? Thank you. You too. Whoa, 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 whoa. This guy just drove right out in front of me. I wasn't expecting that, but it's okay. He didn't do anything wrong. All right, off to drive trucks we go. Had a good night. Decent. Is this guy coming into Timmy's or is he going in? You never really know. You never really know. Some people turn their signals on so early that you never really know where they're turning. A good little point of advice that I would offer would be that don't turn your turn signal on if there's another turn before where you're turning, if possible. I realize in the city the streets are really close together. But sometimes in the countryside people turn their turn signals on to like turn into a driveway, but they'll turn the turn signal on before a road that you're waiting on. So you're assuming that they're turning down the road that you're on, so you like drive out in front of them and then they almost T-bone you. You know what I'm talking about, right? Just a little, what do I know? What do I know? I just drive for a living. I don't think I see it every day. <laughs> so it's gonna be a good day. I hope you've told yourself already. We're gonna go burn some diesel fuel. equipment like that seems like it'd be real fun to operate we're out here in Rosenor Manitoba and this little town has so much industry in it but so few people they say that the town quadruples in size during business hours they got a small little pot 
population where the, of the town where they actually live. And then a lot of people come from outside the town. And it's just a booming little place. So I've got six skids in my trailer. And I've got to bring them up north of Winnipeg. But on the way there, I've got to pick up a few other things. I guess I'll have to deliver those first. I don't even know where they're going. I just know I have to pick up a few things on the way. I guess we'll figure out where we're at after that. Stop sign means stop. It doesn't mean slowly roll through. Right? Right? Of course. Nobody ever slowly rolls through a stop sign. Ever. I was always told that stop stood for spin tire on pavement. That's what my dad used to say anyway. I mean, I'm just trying to follow the rules. Oh, I don't know if you know this or not, but working hard with a mask on is not fun. <sighs> Can't breathe. Okay. So I'm not sure if that's all we got for today, but uh, time is now after four o'clock, I believe. Just picked up some freight in Winnipeg. Yeah, it's 4.11 right now. Maybe they got more, maybe they got more. And some places are open till five. I still got about half a trailer, so uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they kept me moving. This is a very bumpy road. I was about to start talking about it, and then I realized, oh yeah, Winnipeg, they're all bumpy. This is really bad though, wow. Just creeping along here. All I have to say, anyone who knows anything about Winnipeg and the Polo Park area, Saskatchewan Avenue, okay? That's it. Make sure you wear your seatbelt, not for your safety, but to make, to make sure that you don't get thrown out your window. Okay, keep your windows rolled up. It's bad. So they didn't have any more for us today. Uh, probably add on to it tomorrow morning. Uh, like I said, now it's 20 after four. All the businesses are closing already. I'm headed back home right now. And uh, continue on tomorrow. It's been a good day, it was a pretty steady day. Uh, running pretty steady, didn't have much wait time at all. I don't think I had any. And that's good, it made the day fly by. I mean, it's the end of the day already. I didn't even know it was lunchtime yet. Those are usually the best days when they go by real quick. It's the days that drag on and on and on that really get to you. But you know, I don't have many days like that because I really enjoy driving trucks, so. I'd like to keep going, but you know, eventually my body has to sleep. That's the only thing that really stalls. And I want to go home, that, that too, there's, there's that. I'd like to go home once a day. Good day, mates. We're here to, uh, oh, oh, let's put the mic down. There we go. It works best when it's right there. Good day. Hello. We're here to read some comments. And uh, first off, I got to say sorry about the video from yesterday. Uh, I'm, I'm re-rendering it as we speak right now, and you've probably already seen the re-edited version. There was a clip in there where the audio didn't take for some reason. 
I don't know why. Because it worked in... It worked right before that, but as soon as I released it to be public, for some reason the audio didn't work for that whole clip. I was sitting right here. Uh, and, uh, yeah, all your comments were pretty much like, hey, there's no audio, there's no audio. And I don't blame you, that was a mistake, so... Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. YouTube doesn't like me. YouTube doesn't like a lot of people. I don't like them either. But hey, here we are. <laughs> All right. So a whole bunch of comments here from you guys. I wanted to go through just a few. We're not going to go through as many as last time because last time we dragged it out pretty far. Okay. So we're just going to go through a few. And uh, let's see what you guys have to say. Trucker Greg here. Farmer's Sausage Biscuit Trucker Josh. You're so missing out. I agree. I agree. Uh, Scott Kirk says, doesn't look like a B train behind your freight shaker. No, it's not. Nope. Not a B train. Husker boy, give a thumbs up. So I said, yeah. Obviously. I don't know what else to say to that. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Rocking Horse Exploration. I like that name. Hey, Josh. Awesome video. Love to see the four-footed kids and you and Britt. Good luck on the trying for kids. Keep the faith and take care. Talk to you later. Thank you. Uh, Tony Abbott. Nice to see you back again. You got an awesome possum at Timmy's in Dartsmouth, Nova Scotia. Which means that they probably watched my videos. Because where else... Would a Tim Hortons drive through person learn to say awesome possum when someone says super duper? I think I'm the only weirdo on the planet that is telling people to do that. <laughs> so if you hear that, they probably watch me. Which wouldn't surprise me, because out on the east coast of Canada, out in the Maritimes, in New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, no, uh, Newfoundland, Labrador, out there, I have a lot, like, a lot of you live out there. A lot of my viewers live out there. And I know this because... I don't think I'm famous or anything. I don't think I'm a celebrity. Maybe I'm I'm well known in some circles. That's what I would say. And one of my biggest circles where I'm most well known is the Maritimes of Canada out on the East Coast. I can't go anywhere there without being recognized. I mean, it, they're so nice. It doesn't bother me. Uh, I can't. I've gone into Walmart. People recognize me in Walmart. I can't go into a Tim Hortons there without somebody recognizing me. Uh, Irving Truck Stop. Uh, just going down the road, cars passing. It, it, <laughs> there's a lot of you that, that live there. So I don't know how my vlog circulated around the Maritimes so quickly and so much, but I appreciate all of you. Uh, us in Manitoba, we're supposed to be friendly Manitoba. It's on our license plate, which makes it official, right? But it doesn't make it true. When you compare us to the Maritimes on the east coast of Canada, we are... Not as friendly as you might think, but <laughs> I'm not surprised you got an awesome possum at Timmy's in Dartmouth. So if you are the person, if you are the Timmy's worker and the drive through person who said awesome possum back to Tony, I want you to comment down below in all caps and say it was me. Okay, don't lie. There's going to be a whole bunch of people now claiming that it was them. Shoot. You're going to have to say something. That'll make everybody know for sure it was you, all right? You gotta be clever down there, I don't know. <laughs> that's that's pretty cool, though. That's pretty cool Tony got an awesome possum. That's awesome. And he says, Renovision is a really good channel for DIY. The guy's from Ottawa. Uh, he does everything from painting to basement renos. So if you guys want to go check that out, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, Canuck was talking about the silent talking. That was the clip that I guess the audio didn't work in. Uh... Skulator? Skulator. I like that. I like that name. That's clever. I like that. Lost sound, Josh. Less than halfway. Yeah. I, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I don't know what happened. It was so frustrating. It's so frustrating when, when YouTube screws up something on their end. So hopefully the, the video I'm releasing later with the fixed audio, hopefully you got to see that. There's, uh, honestly, there's not much I can do at this point now except be disappointed and apologize. Uh, Trucker Josh video without going to Tim Hortons? That is just unheard of. I know, right? Sometimes it happens, but I feel weird editing it. I'm like, there's something missing here. There's something wrong. I don't know if I want to release this. People are going to start thinking things. They're going to start talking. 
And then I run out to Timmy's real quick and then film it and it all it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Valley Dog says, please, Trucker Josh, don't make hour long videos too long. No worries, sir. I don't plan on it. I don't plan on it. Maybe sometimes here and there, but not every day. That's a lot of editing to do every day. That's a lot of talking. I like to talk, but that's a lot of talking. Nancy was asking how old the cable modem router is. It is brand new. We just got it installed. It's not a combined unit. And uh, uh, we, we got to talk to our provider to see why we're not getting the service we're paying for. I have no idea what's going on. Brian Smith says, Venture Crawl Space. Uh, also, see if there's any standing water underneath. Uh, there's no standing water under our house, uh, but since it's not vented, the water that does come up, it has nowhere to evaporate to, like I was talking to yesterday. So the soil is a little damp, which is how we realized there was a problem under there. And you got to vent it so that the, the water coming up from the ground can evaporate and go somewhere, right? We also want to vapor barrier, vapor barrier it. It's on our list of priorities. It's like right at the top. Uh, we're just waiting for th those little little rectangles to show up so that we can uh, use those rectangles and give them to somebody who uh, can do a really good job for us or, or point us towards the right product. Uh, I would rather have someone who's professional do it for me just so that it gets done right because that's something that's important and it's, it's not something I've done before. And I want to make sure it's done right so that we don't have any further problems in the future and so that I don't fix one problem just to create another. So we'll see. I'm waiting for some more, uh, well, in the U.S., I guess you'd call them plastic rectangles. Uh, I mean, you'd call them paper rectangles, but in Canada, we have plastic rectangles. So I'm waiting for some more plastic rectangles. We'll see what happens. But that's all the comments we'll go through, for, go through uh, today. Uh, I'm going to start maybe making just a separate video of this I don't know I like going through these comments so we'll continue this in the future but I don't want to drag it out too long today and make it half the vlog again but uh, anyways give this video a thumbs up if you did like it don't lie Santa knows when you're lying and he'll bring you coal all right I also heard that if you don't leave a comment and don't thumbs up the video the Santa's not gonna visit you at all this year and that would be a tragedy uh, that's just a rumor I can't confirm it, but why risk it, right? Why risk it? You should probably leave me a comment, give the thumbs up. If you want to give the thumbs down, that's cool. It does the exact same thing for me, whether you thumbs up it, whether you thumbs down it, and if you leave a comment, what it does is it works with the YouTube algorithms and it, it shows that people have engaged with my video, that they have uh, rated it, and that they've left a comment. So uh, that's why YouTubers always ask you to leave a comment or thumbs up or... Most YouTubers always say, oh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I like to leave the option up to you if you want to give it a thumbs down. It doesn't offend me. If you think the video wasn't very good, it doesn't matter. It doesn't harm my channel at all. It actually helps the channel when you give the thumbs down. So I'm going to thank you for doing either, but I do prefer the thumbs up. And a comment down below that lets YouTube know that people have engaged with the video, like I was saying. And then it shares it to more people so that more people hear about the channel. And and we grow our little group of friends here. It's up to you. I mean, if you want uh, Santa to come visit you next summer, you're, uh, you're probably going to want to leave a comment down below of every single one of my videos. I don't know. But that's just, up to, that's just you. <laughs> I don't know. What I'm, I'm tired. i got to go to bed. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.